Hey, it's Ian MJ from Endless RVing. We are here at the... We're just headed okay, up. Are you, are you doing a selfie oh. again? Can I play Here. it up? I'll refer to it. It's here. This is so cool. This right. I'm in the wrong place for this. You know, I'm not Let's sure turn this way. There he is. I think she's figured the whole thing up, and it's scary now. It's creepy. Yeah. Hair on my shoulder. Come on, put your hair on my shoulder. Look at mine. Put your put a little hair on my shoulder for the camera. Uh, yeah. Are you from the parking lot? YouTube right. world. Oh, okay, YouTube world. That would be kind of. <laughs> like, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Get on that movie, right? The one. No, I'll be English. Well, have fun. God bless you. I'm glad you're using the expensive camera when the other ones are actually on your nose. <laughs> That photo video bombed by the by the <laughs> robot. <laughs> so uh, check the audio connection. Audio is no good. Check, check the audio connection. Hold on. Let's see. Hold this. It's all. You need two hands. He's audio. I don't know. Let's see. It's, it's not windy, just audio issue. Huh. Not sure. Uh, let me take it's, it. Is his mic? Is that better? We have to use the mic. Oh, because it's connected there. Yeah, does that sound better? Let's try. Is that better, guys? Let us know how that sounds. It's cutting out still now. Not better. Better now. All right, yes. perfect. All right, I turned down the game, guys. Thanks for giving us the Thank feedback. You, as always. It is a little windy out here, so um, please bear with us. Perfect. Sounds good. Now there's music. Hang on. You want to stop here? Hit that little button there. All the cats and chicks can get their kicks out of the Let's go! Let's go to the hopper. Can you hit the button again? So there's a lot of noise in the background here. It's like a big party out here in Tampa. You got robots, uh, jugglers, and... Guys on stilts. You got everything going on here. Cowgirl and cowboy midgets. So we are doing our walk here. Uh, listen, guys, we got some good videos this morning. That gonna be coming to you. We got like a Tiffin Zephyr pretty much all by ourselves. We took a good uh, video of that. We got a DRV, oh, nice triple nice. axle DRV. That was a the flavor of the week front living room. Again. Yeah, according to MJ. Actually, I think, are we going the right way here? I think we are. Right? No, we gotta go back. Ah, we Sorry, we passed the turn. We gotta make the first left up there. Yeah. So we got that video, and what else did we shoot? We shoot another one? Uh, 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 Grand Design. Momentum. Yes. Oh, yeah. Blake, you might like this one if you're in here. Uh, Momentum. It's the 29... G-O. G-O. It's a toy hauler. But different. But the instead of having an enclosed trailer, it has an open trailer. So you tow it completely open, like a flat tow. You know, open. But what it does, it allows you to use that, that deck trailer deck has like a patio when you're when you're parked you don't have to go through the work of dropping that deck it has an outside kitchen it's pretty cool so i the think you guys thing i didn't like about that was there's no actual bedroom okay because you're taking that room for the back so you have a drop down bed you have two bunks so there's no actual master bedroom no I, I wasn't crazy about yeah that. i mean but it's only 34 feet long it actually it's probably a little big for a half ton, it's pushing over 12,000 pounds under the uh, gross vehicle weight, so it might be a little big for a uh, 
a half ton, so a three quarter ton, but it is definitely a cool option. So we are headed, we're gonna have a little surprise for you if he's not busy. If he's not busy. We are headed to see our buddy Matt, and Matt's RV reviews. Is this the right way? Yeah, yeah we're, we're going the right way. Okay. We're going the right way. So, okay, well, here's some leisure ways. Oh, I came in. We're by a leisure way right now. Leisure travel vans. Sorry, leisure travel vans. Let us know anybody if you want to see a leisure travel van. We're right by them right now. And again, guys, I, I really can't see the chat because it's so sunny. So I'm sorry, but hello to everybody that's here. Oh, yes. Thank you for joining us as always. Uh, we released the Avia uh, this morning, the new camp Avia. So if you haven't checked that out, there was some people asking for that. Uh, we got it done and released it yesterday. So he said, fi finally, I miss Matt. <laughs> well, if he's not busy, we're not going to yeah. disturb him yeah, if he's we can't selling. Rip him away from a sale. We don't want him to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> but if we'll definitely stop by. Um, you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is killing me. Yeah. All right. So let's go here. Okay. You want right. to show, uh, show some of the. Yeah, so let's, let's flip it around and see what you could see. Anybody want to see these leisure ways? Let us know in the comments. If not, we'll head right to We Matt. got a Leisure Way travel van corner, the Serenity with the corner bed on the Mercedes. It is really windy out here, guys, so I do apologize if uh, you're getting a lot of wind noise, but. It's, it's 75 here and about 25 at home, so we're not gonna complain. Yeah, we're not Again. complaining. Guys, uh, we were by Thor before, and um, they had some nice floor plans. And Izzy actually didn't blow up in no. flames. No, it didn't blow up in flames. I'm trying to see if we can uh, hit that Thor that we were on before. Be right All right, here. so we're over. Matt is working the uh, General RV. He's at the Nexus display. We'll see if he's busy or not. He, we talked to him earlier. He said to uh, hit him up if he's not busy. So MJ is going to try to find him. Let's see. Hopefully he's not out on lunch. Hey. Oh, look who it is. The man of the hour. There's a lot of people asking yeah. for you, Matt. Howdy. What's going on? Everybody Any questions yeah. from Matt? Anybody? Yeah. Ask Matt anything. You want to show us an axis? Um, well, I got to show her a Vegas. Oh, oh, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. We'll, we'll be back. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. All right. How Let's, long are you live for? Just, no, probably ever. like 40 minutes, 45 yeah, yeah, yeah. minutes. Just go, circle back yeah. if that's okay. okay. Somebody asked Matt, you making money. No, yes, no, he's, no. he's not making anything. No. We found the right interior color. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Matt in his native environment selling. All right. Let's see. Something. Uh, well, how about the, the uh, Mr. Todd? Who's the guy who wanted to see the um, the Berkshire? We're not even near yeah, Berkshire. We're not Let's flip around. Let's go to Thor. Thor's right on the other side. Okay. Uh, Blake, we're gonna hit some Thors for you. Or oh, we'll hit that Anybody vintage. Want to see a vintage Anybody see one of these things like a throwback? A retro. Here's a vintage cruiser. I really don't know anything about these, so. Um, We'll see what they're like. Oh, how about the Holiday uh, the Navigator, Holiday Rambler for uh, okay. John? Okay. All right, let's hit this. Let's hit this here. It's a 35k, I think. All right. So let's go to vintage. Vacationer. Vacationer. Yeah. All right. So let's check this out, guys. Vintage cruiser. It's a real small travel trailer, and it is um, kind of wood-looking, but not really. Check this out. It even creaks like it's vintage, but then they have plastic, so that's not really vintage. <laughs> but I like the wood walls, it's kind of cool. And let's look around. All right, let's go over to uh, the Holiday Rambler. All right, guys, put in the comments. Listen, we're over here by Fleetwood Discovery, uh, Holiday Rambler. Let us know what you guys want to see. Well, let's go see John's. The yeah. The Rambler Vacationer. Yeah. Kids. They got a Southwind over here. Uh, Discovery, Discovery LXC, Fortis, Navigator. There's quite a few here. So let's start walking down here and see what Navigator. we... No, you said it. What was it? The... Yeah, no. Vacationer. Yeah, Vacationer. 
All right, let's flip around. Somebody said the Omni. I don't know if the Omni is by where we're at right now. Yeah, we did. All right, so we are in the Holiday Rambler, Southwind 36P. Let's check it out. Posh Cat said that vintage looked awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So we are still... Are these uh, Pace Arrow. We had, this is the one we looked at, babe, yeah. the 36 u Well, we're we're in uh, Fleetwood right now. The like vacationer. Where is that? Uh, the other side. Yes, it's down. All right, okay. let's go. Thank you. All right, we got some directions, guys. We're in the Fleetwood section. Holiday Rambler is right next door, so let us continue our journey. There's the Pace Arrow. Look, 38 F. Oh yeah. We looked at that. We'll, we'll hit that later. All right, which one is it? John, I hope you're in here. Catch us on the replay. Vacationer 35K. This is uh, pretty nice. Let's see. This is one of our subscribers, John Herthel. This is what he has on the Ford V10 chassis. All right, let's go up. Check it out. We have to check the uh, toilet paper. Babe, I think we looked at this, didn't we? I think, I think we did too. I'm pretty sure, and you didn't yeah. like that section right there. Yeah, Yeah, so check it out when you first walk in. We definitely looked at this motorhome before we bought our base door. All right, you got the nice L shape. Uh, long with the booth, some nice cabinets up top. And this is kind of cool. You got a residential fridge. All right, then you have TV nice. with the fireplace. Nice. You got one big super slide on the driver's side. I don't think now this is a bath and a half, right? Holders get a, um, Check it out. Max test. I don't know, but that's the half bath, so now you're getting greedy. Yeah, what I do so like is is the lights here, the controls. Actually, my, no, it's not bad. This is a, babe, this is actually a pretty big bathroom yeah, no, for a half. I don't know about this, but that's fine. So check out this half bath. All right, Ricky, you good? I did the toilet paper check. <laughs> and this is going to have a bathroom in the back. Why does this seem so big? Right? It seems like a pretty big coach. Nice choice, John. We like it. Big shower. Ah, it's so much more quiet in here. It's a jungle no, out there. Nice. With a nice skylight. Hey, Blake. Maybe. That's a good toilet This could be right up in your, your alley here, Blake. Let's check out some of the storage outside. Oh, and you have a drop-down bunk also. And some ceiling trays. Look at, all this, look at the storage. Yeah, look all at that. Down. Nice. Can nice you take that? Nice choice, John. If you're watching, he's probably not watching, though. But no. Later. All right, so you got a drop-down bunk and a TV overhead. Nice this controls cool. here. I like this. Yep. And that's going to be a fold-out table there. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, new Vision, it's a V10, so the motor's up front. It's on a Ford. This is a gasser. Um, I think that's what it's priced at, like, 125 You have an outside TV. But what I will tell you, this has some pretty big, pretty big storage compartments. All right, boo. Blake, look at the price, Blake. You're booing. <laughs> I will take you on something that's a little more your style. There's some, another one. And you got a nice pass through here. Hey, Kevin, great meeting you. <laughs> he says he needs diesel fumes for his lungs. Blake. Oh, Kevin. Oh, hi, Kevin. Great meeting you, too. <laughs> All right, so Blake wants diesel. So let's let's hit that. Let's go a little a little higher up. Um, the Pace Arrow. So we yeah. looked at that floor plan we were just on when we chose our Newmar. We also looked at this floor plan. This was up in our top three. I think. And it was actually a lot less. It was LMG. priced at 189, but it was a uh, it was a year before, right? So this is a 20. The one we were looking at was an 18 and 19. So 38 foot. This is the Pace Arrow LXE. This is this one on um, Meet the Fockers. This is what they have. Oh, we have a subscriber. Say hi. 
MJ, how are you? Todd, we have some subscribers here. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. This is really nice. Yeah, this is beautiful. We have we were looking at this. Love it. So, Blake, hopefully this is a little more, I'm talking to one of our subscribers. <laughs> Blake, hopefully this is a little more in your um, style. I know you roll Look big pimpin' style. I get it. Oh, Blake, this is for you. <laughs> 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 you always <laughs> that so, check this out, Blake. Much gooder, he said. But, all, right. all right, so L shaped couch. Look at the front, you got the hide a bed up top. Ceiling trays. This is really nice, babe. Why didn't we get this one? Price, I think. I think it's just a little bit more than we wanted to spend. Yeah. But yeah, beautiful. But Absolutely beautiful. It has everything. It's and this is, there's one thing I don't like. Yeah, What's that? Right. Look around. What is it? TV? Yeah. The, yeah the, but you have the L shape. Yeah, but that's the only... Like, I, I, I don't like No, no, size. but look, babe. You have this here. I know. For that. So, look. You have this chair that can hit this, right? And I think that turns. And then you have the L shape. That hits the TV. And when you're on here, you choose what you want. You're the king of the castle. Neck record TV position. Thanks, Blake. That's exactly what you Look, said. Blake. No, Let me show you. Hold on. Blake, look. No neck wrecker. And these guys turn around, too. These will turn around. So, all right, let's keep going. Like the fireplace. Yeah, Blake, nice. I'm with your wife on that. I love fireplace. <laughs> so you have all electronic controls here. And this was cool. I remember yeah. we liked this a yeah, lot. So, two, two doors to the bathroom. Yeah, that's good cool. access here. And nice bathroom with a skylight. Oh, that's nice. Oh, LED lights. Very nice. 35 people in here. 11 thumbs up. Guys, show the love. Hit that thumbs up, please. can't sleep on the bed because of the number of pillows. Yeah, but this is a king size bed and it looks like it's a sleep number bed. It's nice and quiet in here. Let's just, just chill out for a little. It's probably washer dryer hookup. There you go. Nice. You guys need a steady cam. Um, so Rob, check it out. This is what we have. That's how we shoot our videos. But we can't go live with that. Um, so it's yeah, I got what we got. Yeah. Blake, it's the 38 something. I'll get the exact model for you. Yeah, it's Fleetwood Pace Arrow. Let's go here. All right. And there's your kitchen dinette. That was you want to pay, Sarah. No. We, we could have gotten this one. Yeah, 38Fs, LXC. Nice. And it has the Wi Fi Ranger in there with LTE. 38 LXC. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to have a rear mounted radiator. There you go. It's going to be a propane coach also, not all electric. We did. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's rear mounted radiator. Guys, sorry. 340 horsepower. All right. What else do you guys want to see? We're in the, this Fleetwood Discovery area. So what else do we have here? We did a Discovery yesterday. We did the one down at the end. Here is the 44H. Anybody want to see this? Let us know. Why don't we have something different, like a different brand? Well, we'll keep walking. Now it's starting to get hot. Yeah, the wind died down a little. Now it's getting hot. Hi, everybody that's joining us that's new in here. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel, new to the uh, new to the live stream. All right, so we are going which way? Matt is... Let's go this way. Somebody did tell her to put a hat on today. Oh, you know what we should hit? We haven't hit an American coach yet. Okay. Anybody want to hit American coach? Is that close? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. So, so yeah, seen that American before. coach is like uh, Jayco. You know, Jayco has Integra. Jayco is the lower end. Integra is the higher end. Um, Rev Group has Fleetwood, and then the higher end is going to be American coach. All right. So, 
This is more in the Blake territory. All right, here we go. Let's go. The Let's see. Of the epitome of luxury. Yeah. This is the 40, 2020 American Dream 45A. Let's check this out, guys. So, what's the price on this? 418. Discounted? 418,777. These are built on the Liberty Bridge chassis, which um, Rev Group takes and they reinforce the chassis that they get. Let's go inside. Get the there actually is. Oh, this is really nice inside, guys. <laughs> this is really nice. Let's go to the front. Check out the light interior. And the dash. It's on a Freightliner with the Liberty Bridge chassis. Collision mitigation up front. The cabinets. MJ. You like this? And look at all the all the cabinetry. Isn't it nice? It's just really nice. Open that up in there, so. Oh, all right. Kind of it's nice carpet down. finish. It's straight down. Hope you guys could see that. Awesome. All right, so let's keep walking to the back. Look at the ceiling tray here. Ceramic floors. All right. You get the tray that comes out, or the um, island that comes out. Blake said what MJ wants, MJ gets. That is not true. It's all 50 <laughs> All right, let's keep. He must have missed that. <laughs> let's keep going. Let me go this way. All right. All right, let's go back. Yeah, let's check this out. Here we go. Well, let me get the half here. Look how nice that is. All right. They're trying to sell an RV behind us right now. <laughs> this is actually very nicely finished with the lights inside. American Coach just made, maybe made our list. Check it out, guys. Oh, sorry. And look at all the drawers they have here. So maybe out of this, I would get three drawers. So we got eight. I'd probably get three. What is this? Four each. Actually, no. There's more than eight. There's 11. So maybe I get four. There's 11. She's laughing because she knows. I would get six. You would get five. That's fair, right? And we need to check it out. Richard Campbell, you're absolutely right. I'm not going to mention it. I'm going to make MJ read the comment. All right, let's go to... Let's go to the back. All right, this is nice. Who's that by? Samsung. Samsung washer dryer. Oh, I like the shower. And this is not even their highest end. It's a little small, but you have the. Uh, oh, they got the escape door here too. The seats. Check it out. I just got like some telemarketer calling. So I hope that I didn't get interrupted. All right, let's go. Check out. Let's see. All right. Let's keep walking. Oh, wow. Look at this. We missed that, too. You know what I like about this? I like that they threw black in here. Right? So check out this the black sink. That's very cool. Check that out. All right. So here are the numbers here, guys. William said he was calling you. Oh, he was? William, that was you calling. Sorry, I get so many telemarketers. That's funny. Hi, William. 
Hello. Did you get the dashboard? Yeah, I got the dash. Uh, what else do we have here? The American. Oh. I don't, I'm like, wait, wait, have our number? <laughs> American Eagle, 45G. You want to see that one? Let's see. And then we'll head back over to Matt. Let's go here. You want to say hi? <laughs> Somebody just asked us. It's good enough to work on YouTube. We're live. Yeah, I'll look it up to you. Yeah, it's great. It's the 11 Pro with the three cameras. All right, MJ's tied up. I will take you guys inside. This has the Aqua Hot. All right, uh, the price. Of, sorry. Which one? That's the Eagle? Yeah. Okay, let's go on. All right, we're going to the better Eagle, the bald Eagle. All right, thank you. All right, let's check it out. Hey, check out the wiring system here. I like that. That's quite impressive how clean that is. All right, the 45K show price 548.777. It's 45 foot American coach on the Liberty Bridge chassis. Let's take you inside. Oh, check that out. That's nice. It's nice. Oh, MJ, MJ. All right, here's the numbers, 605 horsepower, 1,950 pounds of torque, 150 gallons, 105 gallon fresh, that is nice. Good dash. Get a, just get a look straight back. All right, I'm gonna do it nice and slow, okay? That kitchen is gorgeous. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe. Also, hit that like button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, check it out. Look at this sink. I like those black sinks. Isn't that cool? So now you're back. Are you back to a uh, motorhome now? I like But this is five times the amount of the... Uh, oh, the DRV. The DRV. Let us turn this around. Let's go this way. Sorry. All right, let's flip it on back. All right, so you have a, I think a half bath in here. I thought you liked the light colors. I do, I mean, the layout is nice. I would want it lighter, but. Learning As We're Living said they just watched our um, walkthrough of the yeah, Prevo. Yeah, it is insane. Honey, look at this, look at this fridge. Isn't this cool? Oh. That is really cool. They're getting really fancy with these things. Oh, it's like pictures. Oh my God. This is more to break. That's pretty neat. We got 40 people in here, 26 thumbs up. Check out the ceiling tray. Oh, what I do like about this, guys. I'm gonna show you right now. Mm -hmm. MJ, what do I like about this? Look at the floor. No, no carpet. And it's ah. the kind of flooring you like. Look at this. No carpet. That I like. James is saying hit the thumbs up. Thank you, James. Oh, look at this. The LEDs built oh in. God, look at the shower. LEDs built into the medicine cabinet mirrors. Oh, that is beautiful. That's heavy wood, too. You can smell yeah, look, the wood back here. Thick yeah. Oh, this is, oh. Look at this. Look at this. American this coach. This is really nice for about $1.5 million less than the Prevo. Is this, yeah, this is a, is that tile? It feels like it. And they have a bench too, which is nice. Very nice. Cool. And I'm gonna assume this is a washer dryer. And that is correct. Samsung washer dryer. What is the price? What was it, seven something? No, five. It's on sale for five and some change. I think 580. Here's your escape hatch if you need to go out the uh, door. This is shut. I'm not gonna, I'm not messing with that. That's a, I think that's a cedar closet back there. All right, let's keep walking through. You 
You know All what right. I like? Look at this. I love when they have full length mirrors, right? To look at herself. No, when you get dressed to make sure head to toe looks <laughs> the way it should. Area. All right, let's, good to see that. let's keep going. I think I put a little oil on those hinges. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the only problem. So everybody asking for the price. Here's the MSRP. That's the MSRP. There's a lot of storage in here. Let's head back over to Max's. And I have no idea to get there. Oh, you gonna go right? Right? Yeah, go right this way. All right. We are back out. We're going to go see if Matt's still busy. We'll try to get Matt on here. <laughs> so, guys, if we are also by Jayco here and a couple other trailers. Uh, what else we have near us? This is the whole Jayco section. Yeah, we're by Jayco. If there's any Jaycos you want to see. Let's see. We're going the right way now. Yeah, it's getting real warm out here. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're gotta go down straight. This way? No, straight. Oh, okay. Directionally challenged. Yeah, we're, we're going the right way now. I think. Oh my god. Well, didn't we? I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Half of our life. Oh, the bagpipers. I hear the bagpipers. Those guys must be the, dying the, in this oh heat. Got the leader of the bagpipers, you know, he's got the big, what is he called, the horse hat on his head? The bear. Or the bear hat, whatever. Oh, yeah, they're, they're near. It is. Oh, they're right there. Oh, here they come. Oh, they're coming. Nice. They're going to stop as soon as we get there. Yeah, uh, see if we can. Uh, I knew it. They may start again. Now. <laughs> Usually, it's just stop and start up again. All right. So we are by. I hope we're going the right way. Oh, General RV is down there. Okay, we're good. I remember that. Design your fries. <laughs> so let's continue back to General. He doesn't have any hat on today. That's his summer uniform. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Uh oh, they might be playing. Hold on. They're either playing or breaking. All right, here you go, guys. Do you want to do a dance for us? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? What's up, Chris? I want to learn how to do that twirl. All right, so what are you going to show us? Yeah, I'm live streaming it right now. Oh, nice. We're all on watching each other on our phones. <laughs> are you the one that gives the thumbs down? No, not this oh, video. Oh, that's right. I said I was going to kick your butt for giving us the six thumbs down that time. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> funny. That was fun. I'm like, are you serious? Six in a span of ten seconds? Yeah. <laughs> we're look I was looking at them like, who's messing with us right now? Yep. <laughs> so what do you want to guys see? Put it in the comments, guys. What do you want Matt to show you? He's working the Nexus section of General RV. So let us know what you want him to show you. If you don't put anything, we'll just Hello. pick one. We may not see him until uh, next year. Why? Well, if we're coming, you're not going to Hershey, right? Hershey. Or if you go to Hershey, we'll see you. Unless you want to come visit us, you could like a uh, driveway camp. So let me show you this. This is a brand new product that nobody's ever seen until the show. They're just debuting it. It is a 2020 Nexus Triumph. Super C on an international chassis, 300 horsepower Cummins engine with a 2500 transmission, Allison transmission. What's real special about this motorhome is, in my opinion, which everybody knows I like to give my opinion, <laughs> this is not the best. This is an entry level Super C, right? Pretty basic and stripped down. 
But what's really appealing about this motorhome is that brand new, you can get it for 130 sale price. That's good. 132995 But you know, there's wiggle room. There's always wiggle room. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, let's check it out. Well, first. This is diesel, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's. That's the whole thing. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who are looking at this. They're going to say, oh, well, it's not a Seneca. Well, yeah, no crap, it's not a Seneca. But what, what everybody tries to compare motorhomes to motorhomes, and that's not what you got to do. You got to compare this motorhome with a stack of cash, about $70,000. <laughs> that equals one Jayco Seneca. And so, we have a subscriber who uh, was shopping for a Super C nice. and saying they were quite expensive. So that maybe this will appeal to him. Yeah. Oh God, I almost like oh, ran yes. over here. I wasn't the one that ran into <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep, pretty cool. You know, you got your Cummins engine here. You know, this, this motorhome is for that person who wants to go to the racetrack, who needs to tow 10,000 pounds, but not spend $200,000. They, they, they want to still have a car to race. Yeah, you know exactly. So did you put your cams in a diesel? It is diesel, this, yeah. No, for this price. Yeah, 130. Matt's getting swarmed. Matt is working. Oh no, somebody thinks yep. he works here. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> say hi. Say You're hi. live on YouTube. Hi. Say hi. John. <laughs> you are awesome. Thank you. you are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pleasure. Cool. So let's check out. So the somebody was just like entry level diesel for 130. Wow. Right. That's what I'm saying. Out the inside. All right, let's go in. 10,000 pound towing capacity, very yep. nice. The 34T, guys, by Nexus. All right, here we go. Hello. Very nice. Nice cabinetry. Ambassador Matt, somebody said. <laughs> International. <laughs> I'll sit down. It's been a long couple of months. Matt, does it have an ASDEL? Oh, snap. So check it out. Uh, there's three things that Nexus does with all their RVs that nobody else is doing yet. Have a seat. It's been a long day. So what they do is they use a steel cage. Okay, time out. First and foremost, we sell everything in general. So I'm not like a Nexus lover, right? I love all the brands. But here's what Nexus does different. That dang marching band. There they go. So they use a steel cage barrier where all the other manufacturers are using aluminum. It's 72% stronger than aluminum, and it's more expensive to do that, but it's also, if it's 72% stronger, it's 72% safer. They use a one-piece fiberglass roof. They also use Asdale sidewall composites. What they do different than Winnebago and Coachman, because they also use Asdale, They'll use it on the inside walls as well. Okay. So you won't get that formaldehyde smell, and it's really good for allergies. And uh, that's what a lot of manufacturers don't do. Because there's no need for Asdale on the inside because it won't delaminate on the inside. But it does, Nexus does it because, you know, it helps with the smell and the mold and the formaldehyde. Also, um, they use fully metal ducts, ACs, throughout the whole coach. Doesn't, it, when, when I'm talking, I'm not talking about this unit. I'm talking about all Nexus motorhomes are like this. They'll have metal duct work throughout. You won't have styrofoam because the styrofoam, again, with the allergies, when it condensates, that leads to water and that leads to mold and all that other good stuff. And this has two air conditioning units up top? Yep, 50 amp. Richard 50. said, if only they had better interior designers. <laughs> so, you know, I didn't want to say that, but yeah. You know. <laughs> you know. Uh, it, it just is what it is. One hundred thirty-nine thousand know? dollars, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can hire a pretty good interior designer. Yeah. That type of money. And it's a uh, propane, right? I see that the Not burners there. Yeah. Okay, yep. cool. Is the air ride deleted from the cab. Yes and no. Uh, the air yeah. ride is not. I don't think it was deleted. But it, Come on, th there's different types of chassis. Yeah. So this one in the Wraith does not have air ride. It springs. But then when you get to that next level, that ghost, then it does have the air ride. Cool. So I don't think like it had it and they took it off. It just doesn't have it. It's a different chassis. Probably a cheaper chassis. Right. Okay. 
Or at the back. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you said talk. I said talk? You said talk. From New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> You're picking it up for me, so no making fun of me anymore. Cool. Yeah, All right, let's, let's go down. Let's check out check a out Viper, like a B plus. It's a really good floor. Yeah, you want to just, just get that real quick, just so they can yeah. see the rest of it. I'll just walk through it real yeah, quick. Here's the back. And the rest of it. Kind of tight, but this is entry level Super C. Yeah, <laughs> Are you driving this? You're going to drive this? Yeah. Good for you. That's what I want. <laughs> Good for you. All right, let's go. On his? Bang the thumbs up, guys. Hit the show us the love from Matt. Nice. All right. So what are we going to see now? Richard Campbell's really hating on Nexus. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying they all look the same inside. It, they do. Matt but really wasn't disagreeing with you. Yeah, but right? you, you got to go what price point you want, you know? You can go custom and pay a lot more money. We're live on YouTube. This is Endless RVing. How are you? Hello. How are you? This is Dave Middleton. Oh, nice, Dave Middleton. To meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, sir. He's the owner of Nexus. There you go. Yeah. So Where you at, Fleetwood? If you got, <laughs> if you got questions, this is the time this to ask, and we have the owner here. Yeah, so. I would like a quick rundown for two minutes of who Nexus is, how you guys got your beginning, and... You Why bet. people should buy a Nexus. Yeah, there you Nexus go. Nexus started in 2010. We started Factory Direct. But two years ago, by overwhelmingly uh, demand from the dealers, they want us to go to the dealer body and sell our product. We've done so, and in two years, we've risen to the number two manufacturer in the Super C category, which is what we have on display here today. Traditional Class Cs, Super Cs, and B pluses. So with that, that's what we're about. Um, we're here all week as the owners of the company to make sure that People have questions, who is Nexus? Does Nexus stand behind their product? Absolutely, 100%. What kind of warranty do you have on the we product? We do a three year structural, one year bumper to bumper. Nice, and you guys are Elkhart, correct? Yes, awesome. and the biggest thing with our product versus anything else in the industry is our construction. We're all high strength, low alloy steel. We're 72% stronger than aluminum. There's no one else in the industry in these price points doing the construction that we are. So we invite you to come out and take a look for yourself. Awesome. Matt, somebody asked if you have a location out by uh, Akron, Ohio. Oh, us? Yeah, yeah general. Uh, yeah. In yeah, Ohio? Ohio, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, there you go, James. Ohio. But yeah, and actually they sell the art, the ghost. They do, yep. We yep. have our full lineup at their, uh, their Ohio location by Cleveland. It's in Akron. And we're also in their stores in Michigan, as well as Huntley in Chicago and in Virginia. Now, I'm, I got a question for you. How are you keeping your prices so much lower than the, than I, the competitors? I the same thing with, with uh, that. Yeah, like how are you doing it? You know, People are going to ask that. The thing that we do is we're not trying to hit home runs. Like general, we're trying to earn customers. So as long as we can cover our overhead and make a little bit of profit, which there's nothing wrong with that, we're passing it right through to the customers, and that's the same thing General's doing. They're hopeful that you're going to be in the campgrounds like we are, talking about Nexus, talking about General, and with that, you're going to bring more customers and awesome. we're going to grow our business. Awesome. And one thing that I really like, um, since I've spent, been spending the whole week here, is Nexus, you know, obviously everybody knows service is always a big deal, but, you know, they have even, you know, when, when you when you buy from Nexus, you're joining the family, and you get Dave's number, and you get Claude's number, and if you ever have an issue, and even if it's, you know, and there's nobody else around, they'll send a mobile service unit out to take care of you, and you have their numbers. So everybody knows the RV industry is not perfect, but I can't tell you how many Nexus people I've seen with Nexus hats and Nexus shirts, they've come over, and they've told, it's like they're trying to sell me. They said, hey, we had a problem. Dave took care of it. Claude took care of it. And, you know, because their house is on wheels. But the service after the sale, to me, is really what Nexus is all about. That's hugely important as, as motorhome yes. owners. Yes. Uh, we're, we're Newmar owners, right? And we've had a couple of issues. Newmar took care of them. But that is absolutely critical for anybody that's going to be dropping the kind of dime you will for this. You you want to have the service behind it. User, that is our biggest yeah, absolutely. Our biggest enemy, and we're going to make sure after the sale you're taken care of. It's that simple. Awesome. So important. That's awesome. Great. Let's check out the Viper. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You have a good day. Me too. All right. Thank you, Dave, for that 
The owner, I don't know where else you're going to see many owners yeah, taking the time to yeah, talk. Bob Tiffin's not here. He's, but he usually doesn't sit and talk to like the salespeople like YouTube Live. Yeah, right. no, and not only that, I mean, I mean, every single, every, I, I don't want to say like potential customer, because obviously everybody's a potential customer, but any single customer I've had this weekend that seemed interested in making a purchase, you know, they've come out and talked to, they've given their business cards, their personal cell numbers, and they just really like it. That's awesome. So we're well, in the Viper. The Viper. They call it right. a B plus. I call it a class C, <laughs> but uh, what's really great is not very often in this small of a motorhome, you're going to find full body paint with recliner seats. Uh, yeah, full body paint, especially at that price point too. Yeah, yeah, it's a crazy price point, but check out the seats inside. All right, let's look at this. Let's check this out. Nice. Nice recliners. Check it out inside. Hey, everybody that's just joining. Welcome. We got 50 people in here right now. Check this 50 out. People. Nice. Bang the thumbs up, guys. This is very cute. Right, now I'm not a fan of these motorhomes. I don't like them this small. I yeah, like them bigger. I, but, but you know, it, it's it. one of those things. If I had to be at that 24 foot mark, 25 foot mark, I would get this one. TV's in a good placement. You got the recliner seats. So many of these things in standard, standard this does come with a dinette. I hate that. Like, I can eat while <laughs> sitting, but at a dinette, I cannot sit unless I'm eating. So, right, right. you gotta so take comfort over yeah, yep. a tree table. But I mean, look at this residential refrigerator. That's a nice size fridge. That's huge. Especially for such a small unit. Yeah. That's a nice size fridge. Just a lock. Check out the fridge, guys. Very cool. Three burner cooktop, microwave, sink. And now that is a, okay, it's just a straight up bed. 25 foot motorhome, guys. This is one slide, and the price point is under 90,000. Um, full body paint, which is huge. Full body paint, though. Right, exactly. Which is that big. That's usually a ten thousand dollar option, and that's going to make that uh, motorhome look pretty for a long time. Did you tell everybody about what we did this morning our project? We Not told yet. One. That we saw. Oh man. Well, should we? Do you want to release it to the world? Well, maybe we should invite them to watch tomorrow. Mmm. You gotta wait. Something's going on. Something's coming out tomorrow. Okay. If you're right. not subscribed to Matt's RV Reviews, yeah, you better subscribe and hit the notification bell because something big is coming out tomorrow. Let me just tell you, Matt is not just funny, smart, handsome, handsome. handsome. Sorry, all that good stuff. Don't forget he that one. He's such a nice guy. You gotta love Matt. Go follow him if you haven't already. He's, He's awesome. the same way off camera as he is on Absolutely. camera. And somebody said, uh, go kick rocks, said Max. Matt is hot. Yeah. Matt's hot. Who's it? Go kick rocks. I never Let's check that. out one more. One more for you guys. All right, what do we got now? So this is, all right, so you save a lot of money. No full body paint here. Yep. This one's very basic. This is an entry level motorhome. But I mean, the price point is absolutely amazing. Hello. 59.95 on this. 24 footer. Okay. I'll just do a walk around while this young lady comes out. And it comes not pre wired with a rear view camera, it's got a rear view camera, okay? Here's the back. And you got one large slide on the driver's side. Very basic uh, motorhome. However, the price point is what you would pay on some trailers. E350 Super Duty in here. Yep. All right. So Matt was right. I'd rather have a couch than a dinette. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, this one's definitely more entry level. If you're looking for something small because you're not comfortable with something big, and then you don't want to spend a ton of, ton of money. I mean, 60 grand, 59,995. That's a trailer. For a brand new one with a slide out is crazy. There we go, guys. Pretty basic, but it gets the job done. 
and you got a bunk up top. This is a 30 amp or 50? 30 amp, yeah. 30 amp. All class C's are 30 amp. All right. Okay. I learned something new today. I That's like the same that, refrigerator like we have, isn't it? Open um, right into the bed. It looks more, more spacious. Mm -hmm. that way? Check this out. So what's great about Nexus is they make all their units the same length. So like for an example, uh, Coachman. Everybody knows I'm a huge fan of the Coachman stuff. I feel like it's just great price point stuff. On their Maradas and sports coaches and this and that, they will put a fiberglass roof. Whereas on their Freelanders and their Class Cs, they'll take that away to try to hit certain price points. Nexus, even though this is their cheapest product, still fiberglass roof, still Asdale interior, inside and outside, still residential refrigerator, still ducted AC units. You yes. don't need ducted AC units in the side. Yeah, if you look, this is all ducted. Metal ducts at that. Let me walk you through the back here. I like that. This is a queen or king? Yeah. I don't know. That yeah. looks wide. Big. Yeah. Looks like a king. And here's the bathroom. The bathroom is right above the wheel well, it looks like the uh, toilet. Yep. yep. And you got a fiberglass, two piece fiberglass shower. Mm. There we go. No, not today. Probably tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, well, well. People really start buying at like 2 o'clock or something. Today or tomorrow? No, like every oh, like day. Every day. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hello. How are y'all? Hi. How are you? Cool. Any questions for Matt? Any questions for Matt chat. before he's released back into the sales world? Yep. I'm a salesman again. <laughs> What do we got to do to make a deal? <laughs> uh, somebody asked, what's the MSRP on this? 100,000, 100, 100,707 $100, And it's on sale for 59995 You know how we roll in general. Yeah. But that's why I came to general. I mean, nobody beats their prices. There you go. So James, go to Ohio, because he said he's going to go okay. by. Where can I find Matt? James Cantonese. Where can he find you? MattsRVReviews.com. MattsRVReviews.com. Go there. On my YouTube, I mean. Yeah, but you, so just 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 to clear it up, say if somebody in Ohio wanted to purchase, but they want to purchase through you, can they purchase through you and have it delivered to Ohio? You can call, you can text, you can send me an email. And, and get it done. if you didn't see Matt's video, Matt actually hand-delivered the keys to a client up in Chicago, in Chicago from Florida. He flew there. <laughs> day. She's like, don't say that. that. Again. That was a long day. No, I'm just kidding. I might do it again. <laughs> you got to buy a, uh, no, a, a cornerstone. No, it wasn't a cornerstone. No, that's what you got to buy. You'll do it again. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, it? Uh, it was just a Winnebago Vita. Nice. Anyway, Matt's awesome. It was, it was a fun time. It was just a 21-hour day. It was a long day, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want to do it again. But, so, no, I'd probably do it again. But that shows what kind of guy he is. So if nobody else has any questions, I right? I don't see. I don't see you. Now what display are you going to? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you we're not sure. How long have you been live? We've been going a long time. Uh, 53 minutes. Nice. We're 43, 45, okay. Anybody want to see anything else? If you want to see something, I can Did you look at the sports coach? No. Uh, we, we passed by it. That's that way, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that clo it's closed? Yeah, yeah. It's closed. I'll point you in the right direction. All right, let's go. Don't forget the camera. I know. All right, we're going to do one more. The, uh, the sports coach by Coachman, which is like their super affordable diesel pusher. All right, one more for you guys. Matt might make a sale. All right, we're gonna. Matt is going back into the wild. See you. Appreciate you it. Say bye, guys. Bye. Okay. He's out there working, working his thing. All right, guys, we're gonna go out to the sportsman sports coach. So, guys, if you don't. We tend to uh, cover real high-end motorhomes and... Um, we saw the retro. Yeah, but most of the times our videos are high-end motorhomes or, you know, what would not be entry-level. But, so we, we came to Nexus, you have some more entry-level, I guess, diesels. We're going to go, if you're interested in entry-level diesel pushers, Coachman Sports Coach. Uh, we actually looked at this when we were looking. It, it wasn't really for us, but it's pretty popular. Isn't that what Blake asked for? Yeah. Maybe he did. Like he said a Coachman something. Um, and people seem to like it. I hope we're going in the right direction. Oh, yeah, we are. We are. Okay. No, we are. All right, so let's keep going. It's just a short walk away. Why don't you put it out so they can see instead of us? Well, I thought maybe they want to see our face or I your face. This, this. 
seen enough of our face. <laughs> Show them our V's. So right here, we are now by, again, the Leisure Travel Vans. Unity, Wonder, I like the names. Yeah. Uh, are we going the right way? I think we are. Let's see. I remember seeing it before. I know. Oh, no, we're good. The coachman's over here. Okay. We're in the right direction. All right. Thanks for sticking, sticking with us, guys. This is fun. I hope you feel like you're at the show with us. Yes. So what's... Can I get Matt's site, please? James, it's Matt's RV Reviews. On YouTube. On YouTube. Just go to Matt's RV Reviews, and uh, he's right there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. He's a good dude. Hi, um, Dave. On and off YouTube. All right, so it should be right in the right here. There it is. All right, guys, so here is the uh, Coachman Sports Coach. This is a ultra, I shouldn't say affordable because it's still expensive, but for diesel pusher, um, this is definitely a uh, more affordable. You get a lot of coach here. All right, so check it out. Here's the 40, price. 42S. 42TS. 42TS, sorry. All right, not a tag. 99 is the it's, show. 199 MSRP 299. So what is the numbers on here? 41 feet, one inch in uh, height. I'm sorry, in length. All right, let's. This has Asdell walls also, as all coachmans do. Guys, so be the nice here. This is entry level. Remember what you're paying for here. Look at the size of the kitchen table. That's all right. Awesome. So guys, 199. Here you go. All right, there's a full shot this of the, the back. This is actually really nice for the price. Nice. Oh my God, no, I was just about to say- That's what's the plastic the cover. Bridge, and then I realized obviously it's plastic. All right, let, let me just turn around here. You have the bunk, electric bunk that drops in the top. Okay. It's on a Freightliner chassis. I love that they leave the keys in here. All right, there's your self-leveling and your Allison transmission. I like those dials, like very retro, very cool. Texan Aviators liking this one so far. Cool. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, it's a bed. Yeah, I saw it's that. Right above that. So that here, you could save some money here. No televator, but still in a good spot, right? It's directly across from your couches. Your couch, and you can sit at the table. Now, can you pull those pull those off? I wonder if that comes out. I'm thinking this may be open up. Let's see. see I do all the hard work. Yeah. Like Why well, I got to narrate? Um, yeah, that definitely comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a trifold? Let's just see the bottom here. I'm fighting with the couch here. So somebody, Texas Aviator, yeah. say you could yeah. pick these up for 149 which that's crazy. So that's going to be a trifold yeah. couch. And then you have some nice um, cabinets, tile work. You got an induction cooktop, which is nice. Sink. All right. Nice fridge air microwave. Watch behind me. Storage underneath of the dinette. All right. Let's keep going in the back. Nice size fridge. Deep cabinets. Yeah. Oh, bunks. Oh, there's a bunk model. Very yeah, nice. And it's still pretty large. Is there TVs in here? Uh, no TVs, but there is cable hookup. Double bunks, and these will... And see, these guys, these will open up. They'll move up if you want to use this as a closet. Okay. So this is a bath and a half. I'm sorry, this is a full two bath. Two bath. Two bath here. All right, 199. You got a two bath coach with bunks. And check out the bedroom funny, in the back here. Funny chat. That's a full bath. Yeah, full bath. Why? The bunks. Why you got the little That's kitties running storage. around. <laughs> They probably have some other models. Hi, everybody, everybody wants different things. Yeah.
Yeah. Well, bunks, I mean, I think it's pretty cool for bunks. Nice size bathroom. I'll tell you right now, this is going to be um, rear mounted radiator because you have the access to the motor here. It's a nice size closet above the toilet. So we took you on that American coach, and I mean, obviously, you see the difference in finish, but. There's a huge difference in price, and you can get these. Somebody just said on here for 149. They're selling them all day in Texas. So, wow. 149. That's you can't even get like a Canyon Star for that. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Take you around the back, and then we'll we'll shut it down, guys. Our arms are really tired. Yeah, we're carrying the weight here. All right, let's go around back on the side, in the back. All right, you got one full wall slide. Can you just open one of those? And as with the diesels, you get nice size storage. Look at that storage. Now, you don't have a slide out tray, but you got a lot of storage. And I will tell you that underneath, if you look underneath, a lot of times, even on ours, you have like that black material over here. It's all fiberglass underneath, okay? Which is nice. Full body paint. TV right there. Okay. You know what I love? You got awnings. Look, you have an awning right over your entry door. You know what a lot of the, um, like the Prevo, you don't see a lot, you haven't seen a lot, but the TV is at your You don't see it. I think it's just because they're designed. Right. It's, that's beautiful. But you're getting a lot on here. So you, look at this. You have side view cameras, okay? Okay, you have chrome mirrors. Nice size windshield. You have a generator up front, okay? Uh, I don't know what size this is, but this looks like a decent size. What size is this? That's definitely more than 5,500. 8,000 8, uh, watt generator. Diesel fire. You have a awning over the door. Okay. Full body paint. You have um, slide toppers, awning with LEDs. All right. Bunks in here. It's made with Asdell. There's your exhaust for your. There was a wa was there a washer dryer in there? Yeah. Okay, there's the exhaust for the washer dryer. You got the ladder in the back. Now you have the rear mounted radiator, but you have the Cummings 360 in here, not the 340. So you got a little more juice in here. Rear view camera, okay. Uh, this is going to be propane heat. And then you have two slides down the driver's side, both with slide toppers. So, you know, there's give and take on these things, guys, but at a price point here at 199 and Texas Aviator saying they're selling all day for 149 man, that, that's a hard price to beat for a diesel pusher, uh, brand new. And you buy a one or two year old one, you get them for even less. So. Is this a different floor plan here? Or is the same? This one's 201. Let me just run it quick through. I want to see what the difference is here. All right, so this is without the bunks. So almost similar floor plan without the bunks. Okay. Here are, now you, you get a bigger, bigger bathroom. Got a bigger kitchen area too. See you guys, Geek Family Adventures. See you later. And here you go, big bedroom, king size bed. Look at this. Wash the dryer side to side. Look at the TV with the wood. They framed out the television. Isn't that nice? That's Very nice. nice touch. Here we go. So very similar, you know, as far as the chassis, but just a different floor plan. This does not have the bunks. The size of the kitchen, right? Yeah, like huge. Really so you're going to gain some room without those bunks. Yeah, that's right. And look, it's tiled out. The only thing I would love nice tile on the back. Is the uh, pull-out. Very picky. Extension. Huh? Very picky. And it dropped down on top. So guys, we're going to head out and then walk around on our own. Let's get a spot here. All right.
Let's do it by the TV. All right, guys, so we've been going for 65 minutes and we got 43 thumbs up, 41 people currently in here. <laughs> MJ looks like shot, right? So thank you guys for joining us. We may go live again tomorrow. Who knows? Make sure you hit that notification bell if you already have it. So if we go live, you're going to get the alert, right? And yeah, we'll take you on some yeah put in the comments, guys, if you want us to go live anywhere near here. We're here till tomorrow and then we're out, all right? Leaving Sunday morning. Yeah, we're out of here. We'll be back till next year. So for myself and MJ, live from the Hershey RV Show 2020, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road. <laughs>